guys, it's Arshul Mono. How is everyone doing? Good, good, good. I hope I wanted to do a 10 top 10 video thing again for you. Somebody mentioned the other day a really good idea that I liked, so I thought I would do it. It's 10 nuits, noirs, and soirs. They actually said nuit and noir, but I've added soir as well because evening, black, night, that type of thing. I really like the theme. It's getting to the type of weather where you can wear darker things. Just disclaimer though. Fragrance companies are really weird. So many fragrances out there that are called Nuit, Noir and Soir don't actually fit the theme that well. But for the purposes of the video and the theme, we're just going to nod and smile, okay? So thank you to that person. I can't find your comment. I've been scrolling through, but this was your idea and I really liked it. So I'm going to tell you 10 Nuits, Noirs and Soirs. Yeah, that sounds really funny. I like it. So the first one on my list is one that I've actually mentioned a couple of times in the last couple of months. It's Nuit de Bacalite or Bakelite by Naomi Goodsir. Really, really weird one to start with, but this is a mixed bunch. I'm all over the place when it comes to fragrances. I try it all kinds. So this one's a really, really unusual niche one. It's essentially a very green tuberose fragrance. Bakelite is a type of plastic. Uh, so it's like night, night of plastic. Yeah, that's the name. It's an incredible fragrance though. There's tuberose in it, it smells like a greenhouse. It feels humid when you smell it. There's leather in it, there is carrot seeds, there is artemisia. It's like stepping into a humid greenhouse and it's absolutely amazing when you put it on your skin. Not really one for the faint hearted, I would say, but I wanted to start with the bang. So, Nuida ba Bakelite by Naomi Goodsir. Just love it, really, really want it, need it in my life. The next one is Versace Crystal Noir. Um, yeah, this one isn't really a noir-y type fragrance either, but I wanted to mention it because I own and love it. I guess in terms of the original Bright Crystal, it is a little bit darker, but essentially it's a gardenia fragrance with a really big coconut note that some people can smell and some people can't. I personally can. It's not listed as a note, I don't think, on their bottles at all or anywhere. Uh, the lady actually showed me in the shop one time. She said, look, no coconut. However, it feels coconutty. I have the Eau de Parfum version and I don't know if they've reformulated it. I hope they haven't, but this one is a monster. I have reviewed it. It is, it just projects and lasts for such a long time. It's got, it's a sillage monster, I would call it. It's hyper powdery, um, white floral, coconutty type thing. It almost feels tropical. I love this one. And I ignored it for a really long time. I don't know why. I think the lid put me off. The lid is just so over the top and chunky and weird, but I love this fragrance so much. Oh my God. I really, really love it. It's so good. Anyway, Versace Crystal Noir. The next one on the list is Serge Luton's A La Nuit. I really like this. This is essentially a white floral. It's mainly centered around jasmine. I'm gonna spray it on my hand actually, because I really like this one. It's a real crisp and punchy white floral that is, like I said, centered around jasmine. It's not really nuit, it's not really night, but I think there is something to do with night blooming jasmine. I said this in another, when I reviewed this, and somebody swiftly corrected me, but some jasmines bloom at night time, so I guess that's what this is about. It's lovely, it lasts a really long time again, and Alan nuit means to the night. So if you're into jasmine, maybe try this one out. I was looking to get a, a solid jasmine fragrance in my collection and this was the one I chose, having tried out quite a few. So yeah, Serge Luton's A La Nuit. The next one's a bit of a unicorn, so sorry about that guys. But I love it, it's Sahara Noir by Tom Ford. Oh my gosh, this fragrance is on this list because not only do I love it, but this is the most hyper-realistic church or cathedral incense I've ever smelled. There's loads of precious resins in it. I had this really weird experience when I went to Nice. I went into a cathedral with my friend which was really really beautiful and I had the experience the other way around where I said oh my gosh it smells like Sahara Noir in here. I think it was meant to be the other way around. Sahara Noir smells like a cathedral and it really really does. It's the most realistic incense I've smelled in terms of the, the cathedral smells stunning, it smells so beautiful, and this is it in a bottle. I love this. There's balms, resins, there's a bit of spice in here, it's really rich, long lasting. If you can find it, get it. But it is a bit of a unicorn because it's discontinued, however, 
just man, I love this. The next one on the list is Cœur de Noir by Beaufort London. Love this brand, super bold, super inventive. They tend to favour smoke and battles and gunpowder and things like that and leather. And Cœur de Noir is Heart of Darkness or Heart of Black. The fragrance is inspired by the perfumer's grandfather and his ink drawings of ships. The fragrance features birch tar for smokiness, it features an inky note, it features a lot of vanilla which signifies um, old paper because apparently when old paper, when paper turns old it takes on a vanillic type tone. It's a friendly smoky um, in terms of what Beaufort released. They released some really really crazy smoky things like Tonnerre and Viet Armis which I have but Cœur de Noir is their softer smoky and it's a really really beautiful one. I love it and that's why it's on the list. The next one is Pomegranate Noir by Jo Malone. It's the first Jo Malone fragrance I fell in love with. I haven't fell in love with any since. Lying, I just bought one recently. <laughs> a friend of mine was wearing a really nice one to a concert and I bought it. But I don't really get along with Jo Malone fragrances that much. Pomegranate Noir though, I love it. It smells like Christmas to me. It's like a spiced, dark, fruity type fragrance. When I sprayed it, I, I just really liked it. I liked the greenery of it. I liked the dark, fruity side of it. And this one is a little bit noir, but the reason I like it is because it feels nostalgic. It feels Christmassy, and I would definitely consider getting it, actually. So I wanted to put it on the list because it's a good one. I like that one. I think it's probably their bestseller, I'm guessing. I hear people talk about it a lot, anyway. So, yeah, that one. Pomegranate Noir by Jo Malone. The next one is on my list because I really want to get this one and I love it. It is by no means a noir type fragrance but it is Datura Noir by Serge Luton's. Oh my gosh, I recently discovered this. It hit me like a ton of bricks out of nowhere. It's not a noir fragrance really at all. It is a really bright, happy, tropical, sunny white floral. It feels a bit coconutty. It's really sweet. It's really friendly and it just makes me so happy when I smell it. Oh, it's lovely. It's a little bit like suntan lotion, not gonna lie. A little bit. There is a touch of that in there. But it's it's just a mood enhancer. It's a real uplifting white floral that I'm probably gonna get next year when it turns to summer. It's in my sightline. I really want it. I reviewed it also, by the way, so go and check it out. It's on my hand here now. Oh, I love it. Coconut Tropical White Florals. It's in the realm of uh, Terracotta by Guerlain but even more coconutty than that, so that's a lovely one to try out if you want to. The Tour Noir by Serge Lutons. The next one is an amazing one, it's Eau de Soir by Sisley. Oh my gosh, this is a, a Chypre that really, really packs a punch. It's almost like a pine forest Chypre fragrance that feels kind of vintage and modern at the same time. I actually bought it for a friend of mine who wore it to her wedding vow renewal. I could smell her everywhere. It's, it's a real, real good one. I thought about getting it myself, but I'm not sure that it would suit me. It's a mega green Chypre, a mega piney, mossy type thing that is amazing, and I love it. It's kind of pricey though, but Sisley Eau de Soir is a great one. Love it. The next one on the list is Le Petit Robe Noir by Guerlain. I recently reviewed this. It's one of my most recent reviews. Really not a, uh, a noir fragrance, but it's not meant to be. It's called Little Black Dress. It's not themed on something dark. It's themed on something else, but it's in the title, so it fits the video, right? This is actually a really fruity fragrance. It's cherries, it's syrupy, it's friendly. Um, I really like it. It's easy to wear, really, really popular for a good reason. It's a really nice one in the opening. The dry down stages see it turn a little bit more Guerlain like um, but it's a really easy fruity cherry fragrance that doesn't feel like fake cherries. It feels kind of like cherry syrup in the opening. I really like it. So, Le Petit Robe Noir by Guerlain. And the last one on the list is Caron or Caron Narcisse Noir. I'm hitting you with a vintage. This fragrance came out in 1911. What the hell? Previous to me discovering this fragrance, the oldest fragrance I knew and liked was Shalimar, which, is, which came out in 1928. This stuff came out in 1911. Oh my god. I put it on my hand today just to um, have a little, you know, schnoz. It's so cool. It's essentially an orange blossom fragrance. It's, a, it's like a juicy 
orange blossom. And Narcisse, obviously, is Narcissus, also known as Daffodil. That's in there as well. It feels so much like another time, but it doesn't feel fusty or, or old, even though it was formulated so long ago. There's something really bright and juicy about it, but essentially, like I said, it's an orange blossom. It's also a little bit syrupy too. It feels really luxurious. I love this one, and I think I'm actually gonna choose this as my scent of the day now that I have come to the end of this video. Just to swirl around in something from something that was just way before my time. I mean, Walt Disney was alive when this was formulated. Oh my gosh, okay, totally off, off subject, but never mind. But yes, Narcisse Noir by Caron. I think you can still buy it, so check it out if you wanna get a glimpse into the past. Anyway, that was my 10 Nuis, Noirs and Soirs video. I hope you liked it. I'm out from my oak. Click my logo down there to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Very soon. Goodbye.